Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of uh, Sketchman Draw. So for Disney month this time we're going to draw a daisy duck. And as always I'm going to break down a reference image. So um, of course with daisy duck like she already has a, like a round face so um, I think we can use that to our advantage and um, like basically just uh, block in and see what shapes we could uh, put in to capture that likeness. So um, I always forget this, but I um, I have to mention it in the description, I guess, from next time. Uh, but um, I'm using Clip Studio Paint, and um, for the tools that I'm using to teach how to draw, it doesn't really matter which tools you're using. As a matter of fact, um, you can use the traditional method like just pencil and paper and eraser will do. Um, but here, so the hands were a little bit uh, more difficult. You have to pay attention to the way the fingers are just positioned there in a different way uh, for each of them. And that makes a really interesting uh, like gesture and um, it's almost like I think she's if I have to interpret it I think she's like waving to someone <laughs> and uh, again I don't know uh, because I find these images in Pinterest I don't know if these are like original images from like screenshots from comics I'm sure these are just like drawings that are illustrations that I've, other people have done and here for the legs as you might see like even if i don't see the leg just between that just below the um the leg or just above the feet i just put that line there just to again indicate to myself to my brain that um, okay it's like if if this was a figurine that would be you know like a cylinder like a round uh, form and um, like i don't know things like that um it just makes makes it more interesting for me like I said in my previous videos it feels more like sculpting than just um, drawing shapes together and um, so here um, I just put a line in the middle to sort of say okay that will be the middle of the face um, sort of and doing reference lines like this can be really helpful to first of all just make sure that um, you leave enough space in between the eyes and uh, uh, I don't know if this is intentional because I'm not a I haven't observed these characters in a long time like I have I don't think I've seen a car like a Disney cartoon featuring uh, Daisy Duck or Donald Duck in the last I want to say I don't know 15 years <laughs> Um, so I just kind of have to like I was just noticing that the, the space between the two eyes uh, is a little bit like bigger maybe it's just um, it's just maybe it's just me but I just maybe they gave this characteristic uh, to give a more feminine look if that makes sense um, and here for the bow uh, on top um, so again it's like uh, so sometimes not sometimes, but I think it's easy, like I said in my previous video, I can't actually show you or teach you like the actual mark making that you can do to accomplish that. But what I can do is uh, give you some equivalent, right? Like, like, for example, when I say, okay, we are using a ball for the head. Okay, like you can picture a ball, right? Like a sphere. And right then, like, you know, you, you sort of understand that then just having that imagery in mind can uh you have to like sort of uh use that logic when you're placing the mouth the eyes and so on so in, in that way for example when you're placing the eye you have to be aware that it's not on a flat surface it's like curved a little bit so that's why the her left eye is like sort of on the other side and it's all, almost like going away from us right like so um and it's definitely a three-quarter view and this is very common in cartoon characters like uh, and as a matter of fact, like a lot of artists, including me, we have a, a easier time drawing the three-quarter view. And I think it comes from the fact that 
uh, I've I've grown I watched um, a lot of cartoons when I was a kid, and I think almost all the time the cartoon characters are in three quarter view. Either they're doing something or they're talking to a character next to them. And also, it's a more interest. I think the the reason why uh, the animators chose is because maybe it's just a more interesting view than the profile shot um, or the straight on view. Um, and again, like so, like uh, like just having in mind that the arms and legs are sort of tubes or like cylinders um, can really help you uh, sell the three dimension of those body parts. And um, and this I will cover in the future video how to sketch anything, and I've already a lot of plans for that. By the way, thank you for watching again, so uh, please, um, if you haven't done it, uh, please like, share and subscribe. If there's anything you see that I can improve here, like if this one helps or not, let me know. Because uh, it's great to have an opportunity like this at a platform like YouTube where you can upload stuff for free. But then you don't, uh, I mean I don't have the... Uh, the audience or the student in front of me and I can't really judge whether this is clear or judge whether um, this is helping the other person. Right? Like so, uh, so here I'm using like a pencil um, brush in the Clipsidia paint and I think it's a, the Clipsidia paint is one of those uh, really intuitive um, softwares in my opinion and especially if you're a cartoonist like comic book artist like me um, in relation to the comics, uh, Flip Studio is the perfect, I think they, um, it's, it's catered to make, uh, it used to be called Manga Studio, um, and so I guess they wanted to go, step away from that image that, uh, it's only for making manga, so I guess that's why they changed the name, or I don't know the exact reason for it. So here, uh, for the, um, and again, I think you will find this shape in many areas, which is C curves, S curves, uh, balls, like, like rounded shapes, uh, and then uh, you'll see uh, drop, drops like shapes, like, you know, like uh, if, you do a, if you see a um, water drop, you know, like it's, it's a bit like a ball, but then it goes up, and there will be also variations of like thin to thick, to give that really beautiful kind of aesthetic to things. So what else can I say? I think um, the uh, best way to create your own characters, I think it's to draw and copy uh, the characters that are that that exist. Um, you don't have to use the same uh, method, but uh, it can be really hard to, to um, do that. So here I just go in with like a pen to um, this this pen tool is called textured a uh, textured textured pen. So and I really like it because I don't know it has this really um, I don't know I like the feeling of it. Um, so I just use it almost all the time. Um, and yeah, basically I'm just going in and then uh, basically going over the image. And if you have any questions, uh, if you have any suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, I'd like to thank you again and uh, please like, share and subscribe. Um, and I will see you in the next video. This is Bill.